There are stories that have been passed down through the years that continue to fascinate people's imaginations and are woven into the great fabric of history. A long lost tomb has risen from the shadows, exposing secrets that have been dormant for generations. The tomb was hidden behind layers of sand and time since it was first discovered. A group of archaeologists have discovered the last resting place of none other than the fabled Queen Cleopatra. This discovery was made in the heart of Egypt, where the desert breezes whisper stories of pharaohs and ancient civilizations. The timing was perfect in every way imaginable. Egyptologists are pleased to report on a promising new archaeological find that seems to have been uncovered in Egypt. This finding comes in the same year that the tomb of Tutankhamun was discovered, which took place 100 years ago. Archaeologists have discovered a tunnel concealed under the Taposaurus Magna Temple, which is located to the west of the ancient city of Alexandria. They hypothesize that this tunnel might lead to Queen Cleopatra's grave. It is unclear if there is proof for this, but if true, this would be a significant revelation that might completely change our understanding of Egypt's most well-known queen. Both Cleopatra and the Roman commander Mark Antony were buried in Cleopatra's tomb, according to Plutarch, the ancient Greek author who authored a biography of Cleopatra's husband and is credited with the longest and most comprehensive account of the last days of Cleopatra's reign. Plutarch states that Antony died on his sword, died in Cleopatra's arms, and was buried in the tomb the day Augustus and his Roman army entered Egypt and seized Alexandria. After visiting the tomb two weeks later to make sacrifices and pour libations, Cleopatra ended her life in an as yet unknown manner. A common misunderstanding is that she was bitten by an ass. Then she was buried in the mausoleum as well. The two young men may have been buried there as well. In the days that followed, Roman soldiers killed Ptolemy XV Caesar, commonly known as Caesarian or Little Caesar, and Marcus Antonius Antillus, the son of Antony. It would be an almost unheard of archaeological find at the tomb of Cleopatra which along with the majority of the Hellenistic city of Alexandria has not already disappeared under the waters of the Mediterranean is eventually discovered. In 2022, researchers in the ancient ruined city of Taposaurus Magna on the Egyptian shore found a huge, beautiful tunnel under a temple. The tunnel was dubbed a geometric miracle by specialists. 13 meters below the surface, Kathleen Martinez of the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic and Associates discovered the building while continuing excavations and research of the temple. A staggering 1,305 meters of sandstone had been hewn through to create the two-meter tall tunnel. According to a statement released by the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities in November 2022, its design has a striking resemblance to the 1,036-meter tunnel of Eupolinos, an aqueduct dating back to the 6th century BCE located on the Greek island of Samos. The conduit, which is sometimes called an engineering masterpiece, was unheard of in its day in terms of both design and construction. The Tapazuris Magnet Tunnel's engineering is outstanding even if it isn't without equals. Apart from its similarities to the Eupolinos Tunnel, the Tapazuris Magna Tunnel has portions submerged in water. Nonetheless, its present role remains unclear. Martinez thinks the tunnel may be a good lead. Martinez has been working at Tapazuris Magna since 2004 in pursuit of the location of Cleopatra's seven hidden tomb. In the past, hints found during the excavations seem to lead to the renowned queen and the last Ptolemy. Around 280 BCE Ptolemy II, the son of a famous commander of Alexander the Great and one of Cleopatra's ancestors, she herself reigned from 51 BCE until her suicide in 30 BCE established Tapazuris Magna. The group surmises that the temple was erected in honor of the god Osiris and his consort, the goddess Isis, who Cleopatra harbored deep devotion to. There have been discovered coins with the names and likenesses of Alexander the Great and Cleopatra, as well as Isis figures. Greek and Roman graves have also been discovered in the temple's burial shafts. If Cleopatra and her husband Mark Antony can be located at all, it's probable that they were buried in comparable tombs. Further investigation may provide additional details, but researchers were unsure whether the tunnel may lead to these long-lost graves. Investigating the neighboring Mediterranean Sea will be the next step. A portion of the temple collapsed and was engulfed by the waves between 320 and 1303 CE as a result of many earthquakes that struck the shore. Plus, earlier investigations had uncovered a system of tunnels that connected Lake Marriott to the Mediterranean. A comprehensive investigation of these remains may provide further information about the enigmatic old city, whether or not the tombs are discovered. Some riches have already been found in the tunnel, 
including a rectangular block of limestone and bits of earthenware. Thirteen years ago, Zahi Hawass, the then Minister of Antiquities, declared, the most significant discovery of the 21st century will be the finding of Cleopatra and Mark Antony's tomb. Here, both within and outside the temple, we discovered important findings even if we were not successful in finding Cleopatra and Mark Antony's tomb. The mausoleum of Augustus Antony and Cleopatra's deadly opponent in Rome is one example of a great historical monarch whose tomb is still intact, although whose contents have often been robbed and destroyed centuries ago. The tomb of Alexander the Great's father, Philip II of Macedon, which was discovered in Virginia in the late 1970s, is one famous exception. Because the tomb was discovered undamaged, decades of scientific study into its contents have advanced our understanding of the Macedonian royal family and their court. In the event that Cleopatra's tomb was proven to be undamaged, the same would apply. Its contents would provide a wealth of fresh knowledge for Egyptologists, classicists, ancient historians, and archaeologists. The majority of what we know about Cleopatra and her reign is from posthumous Greek and Roman writings, which were intrinsically critical of the Egyptian queen. The Egyptian viewpoint on Cleopatra is not well represented by the material we do have, but what we do have, honorific reliefs on the temples she constructed, votives committed by her subjects, gives us a completely different picture of her. No other Ptolemaic ruler's tomb has been discovered yet. According to reports, they were all located in Alexandria's palace district and, along with the rest of the city, are thought to have submerged beneath the water. Historians might spend decades studying the tomb's architecture and artifacts alone, which provide a wealth of hitherto undiscovered details about the Ptolemaic royal worship and the blending of Egyptian and Macedonian cultures. However, if Cleopatra's bones were also found, they would provide much more information about her, such as the reason for her death, what kind of person she was, and even the solution to the difficult subject of her race. So should our goals be to locate and examine Cleopatra's remains? Mismanagement and maltreatment of ancient Egyptian mummies have a lengthy history, extending from Tutankhamun to common Egyptians whose corpses have been unearthed throughout the years. Though happily gone are the days when Victorian dinner parties saw mummies being unwrapped as a kind of entertainment, heritage professionals are becoming more and more concerned about how our predecessors should be treated. For Egyptologists and other researchers, the finding of Cleopatra's tomb would be very valuable, but is it justifiable to deprive the queen the tranquility and seclusion in death that she was denied during her lifetime? If you've been as captivated by this video as we have, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your curiosity fuels the flame of exploration, and there's so much more history to unveil together. Who knows what secrets lie buried beneath the sands of time, waiting for the next intrepid explorer to unearth?